Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation x squared minus 6 is equal to square root of x plus 6. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since this uh, x plus 6 is under square root, so this x plus uh, 6 must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that uh, x must be greater than or equal to negative 6. This uh, x squared minus 6 x squared minus 6 must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that uh, x squared must be greater than or equal to 6. So we have uh, two conditions for uh, this equation. We use uh, these two conditions to check the solutions of uh, this equation. Now let's continue by squaring both sides. x squared minus 6 is equal to root x plus 6 and we take uh, square of uh, both sides. So this uh, square will be considered out with this uh, square root and this x squared minus 6 uh, whole squared will become x to the power 4 minus 12 times uh, x squared plus uh, 6 squared is equal to x plus uh, 6 rearrange these terms uh, and move this uh, x and this uh, 6 to the left hand side this will become 6 squared minus 12 times uh, x squared minus 6 plus uh, x to the power 4 minus x is equal to 0. Next 6 squared from these two terms in negative 12 x squared minus 6 uh, we can factor out negative 6. Negative 6 as common factor and in bracket left uh, 2 x squared plus uh, 1 plus uh, this x to the power 4 minus x is equal to 0. Now we suppose that t is equal to 6. So this equation will become t squared minus 2 times x squared plus 1 times t plus x to the power 4 minus x is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in terms of t. According to quadratic formula t is equal to 2 x squared plus 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write in negative 2 times x squared plus 1 whole squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is x to the power 4 minus x divided by 2 times a is 1 Next, t is equal to 2x squared plus 1 plus minus square root of since uh, square of a negative number is always positive, so we can remove this uh, negative sign. And this uh, 2x squared plus 1 whole squared will become 4 times x to the power 4 plus uh, 4x squared plus 1 and negative 4 times 1 times x to the power 4 will become negative 4 x to the power 4 and negative 4 times 1 times negative x will become plus 4 times x divided by 2 times 1 will become 2. Now this negative 4 x to the power 4 will be cancelled out with this positive 4 x to the power 4 and we are left with t is equal to 2x squared plus 1 plus minus square root of this 4 times x to the power 2. This 4x plus 4x plus 1 divided by 2. Next, t is equal to 2x squared plus 1 plus minus square root of this is a perfect square so this will become 
टू एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वाड डिवाइडेड बाय टू नो दिस स्क्वायर विल बी कंसीडर्ड ऑल विद दिस स्क्वायर रूट एंड वी गेट टू वैल्यूज ऑफ टी टी इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू and the second value of t is equal to 2x squared plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 divided by 2 now we further simplify this one this will become t is equal to 2x squared plus this 2x and this 1 plus 1 will become plus 2 divided by 2 and t will be equal to from these three terms we can factor out 2 in bracket left x squared plus x plus 1 divided by 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get the value of t is equal to x squared plus x plus 1 Now we simplify this one. This negative one will be cancelled out with this positive one, and we are left with t is equal to 2x squared minus 2 times x divided by 2. T is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2. In bracket left x squared minus x divided by 2. and this two will be cancelled out with this two and from here we get the value of t is equal to x squared minus x now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a t is equal to 6 we have supposed that a t is equal to 6 so this will become 6 is equal to x squared plus x plus one. Subtract six from both sides. This implies that x squared plus x minus five is equal to zero. And this quadratic equation is not factorable. We solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative one plus minus square root of. In place of b squared, we write one squared. Minus four times a is one times c is negative five divided by two times a is one. Next, x is equal to negative one plus minus this one squared is one and negative four times one times negative five plus twenty. One plus twenty will become root twenty one divided by two. now from this equation we replace this t with the 6 this will become 6 is equal to x squared minus x move this 6 to the right hand side this will become x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 and this quadratic equation is factorable we write this x squared we can write this negative x as a negative 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 6 is equal to 0 from these two terms uh, we can factor out x in bracket left x minus 3 from these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 2 in bracket left uh, x minus 3 is equal to 0 this uh, x minus 3 is common so we factor out this x minus 3 and in bracket left uh, x plus uh, 2 is equal to 0 from here either x minus 3 is equal to 0 Or this uh, x plus two uh, is equal to zero. From this equation, we get the value of x is equal to three, and from this equation, we get the value of x is equal to negative two. And from this equation, we get uh, two values of x. X is equal to negative one plus uh, root twenty one divided by two, and x is equal to negative one minus Root twenty one divided by two. So we have four values of x. This is first, uh, this is second, this is third, and this is uh, fourth. 
Now we use the domain to remove invalid solutions. As a domain, we have two conditions. First is x squared must be greater than or equal to 6. And the second is x must be greater than or equal to negative 6. We have two conditions as a domain of this equation. First one is x squared must be greater than or equal to 6. And the second is x must be greater than or equal to negative 6. Six. From this value of x1, x squared is approximately equal to 3.2. And from this second value of x, x squared is approximately equal to 7.8. And from this, x squared is equal to 9. And from this, x squared is equal to 4. This 3.2 is less than so, this solution will be rejected. And this 4 is less than 6. This also will be rejected. And we are left with the two valid solutions. x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 1 minus root 21 over 2. x is equal to negative 1 minus root 21 over 2. And x is equal to 3. These are the two solutions for this equation.